Hey guys, today we're gonna be testing the deep track from Insta360. So there's two ways of doing it. One is where your camera is stationary and the objects around it are moving. And the other one is where you actually are moving the camera and the objects around it are not moving. Or both things can be moving, the camera and the objects. So let's test it out, see how good it is or how bad it is. So here I have the, the camera on a tripod, uh, here it is, the tripod, and this is me. So let's say I want to track myself, right, on this, on this plate. So I'm going to click here on the deep track, I'm going to come here and I'm going to choose this guy as the deep track. Let's see how good or how bad it performs. So I'm gonna go and click start tracking. So, so far so good. It's still tracking. All good. I'm asking for a pass. And I scored a goal and it's still keeping the track. So here, it, I believe it performed pretty well, right? No, it, it didn't go to other players, it didn't go to to uh, any other object, it's still tracking pretty good. So once you stop the tracking and you actually play the video, it's gonna it's gonna look something like this. Uh, right now it's not tracking, but now you see how the camera is moving and putting my figure on the center of the screen. So I think this is pretty cool. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I thought it was gonna be not that good, but it did it pretty well. So even if I like, if I, if I was like walking uh, here or outside the field, it would still track me. Um, I've tested it, it works pretty well, except when it goes into dark areas. So for example, if I go into here, which is very dark, it might lose the tracking. Also, I've noticed that if you try to do it with things that are too difficult to track or that move too fast, for example, the ball, it's not going to do it. So say, for example, let me just quickly go here. Here you can see the ball is quite clear, I, I, I would say. So let's see how well it tracks. Just the ball. Okay, so there you go. It only tracked that, that much. Then it lost it. Now it's tracking the, the person's shoe. And that is completely wrong. Um, and that the reason is because the ball just moves too fast. And so I'm thinking that if you're trying to film like a bird flying or an eagle and the eagle is moving too fast, the camera is not really gonna, gonna get it. But there are other techniques you can do that are not the deep track. You can manually track the ball uh, if you wanted to. That would be a separate tutorial but it is, it is possible. So also I've seen that, for example, if I try to deep track, um, say for example, this player. Let's see. Okay, let's say deep track, okay, myself again. Actually deep track, I'm just gonna click it. You will see that eventually at some point it's gonna lose the track because it confuses with other players. Uh, let's see how, how, how long it, it, it does it. But it does happen, I've seen it happen. Um, it's still not that bad because if that happens you can always stop and then start the deep track again once the, the player is clear. Uh, let's see. see, there it lost it. You, you see how it lost my figure? Now it's tracking somebody else and then it stopped tracking. So if this happens, uh, you can always like deep track again, for example, if it loses focus and you can still deep track again. So I think it's pretty neat. I think it's pretty cool. This is when the camera is stationary. So now let's try it when the camera is actually uh, moving. So for example, let's try how long is this one? Let's try a longer one here. 
so say I want to track this building, right? And, and, and here, let's just play so you can see that I'm actually like running. I think I'm running. Am I running? No, I'm just walking. Okay, I'm just walking and I want to be able to track something. Pause it here and say I want to track this tree. Let's see how well it does it or how far it goes on to track. So see, it, it confuses it with the the, pil the with the light post, right? So let's try something else. Um, okay, yeah. Let's try something like. Um, Actually, let, let's track this guy. I think this is a great example. Where is this guy? Right here. Let's try and track him. He's moving, we're moving, everybody's moving. There you go, now it lose track. So it does it for short pe periods of time. So it's not that good. Uh, let's, let's go for something else. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for this. Let's go for this tree here. See how far it goes. Okay, that's pretty nice. Keeping the focus. Eventually it's gonna get off because I'm moving farther away from the object. So eventually it's gonna lose the track. But I think this is pretty neat. I mean, you can do all these steps manually but it comes in very handy to be able to do it with the stop with the deep tracking so there it is and then it loses focus so let's try it like on um, uh, how about driving driving around the city uh, say we want to track maybe this car. long it does the tracking right now we're in traffic so the object it's not moving but once the traffic continues let's see how good it is or how bad yeah so it kind of lost the tracking look it's going crazy it's going crazy it's trying to track it um, yeah it just went crazy so let's see if I can do it like in a, in a more like moving traffic um, part so say I want to track this paint on the wall looks pretty nice yeah I think it did a pretty good job okay it's still tracking I'm not sure why I think it's thinking it needs to track the building that's not so bad See how, how far it, it goes. Still tracking. Still tracking. Well, wow, okay. I think in clear light it performs better. So, alright. That, that wasn't that bad. So, say we want to track. Uh, Say we want to try this car. See how, how far we're, we're gonna spy on this car. See how much it tracks. He's gonna turn to the left. We're gonna go straight, I believe. So we'll see how much it tracks. So far, he's doing a good job. But the objects are not moving. still tracking you can see the quality of the image is not that good it's because we're on the editor once you export it 
is, that is actually much better. But as you can see, it's still tracking. I don't know what, how can it still track, but it's doing a good job. Hopefully, we'll get close enough. Oh, uh, it's gonna lose track. It's probably gonna lose track. It's still tracking somehow. And it lost track. Okay. So, as you can see, with the different tests of deep tracking with the AI integrated in the Insta360 app and I think it's really really good it comes very handy especially for things like for things like soccer so say let's test the one where uh, this final test let me just clear all the data so say say we want to track uh, when players go outside the view zone right so say somebody like me so i'm just gonna go out of the view zone because the match is over and i want to still keep track and see how far it goes so, so it's still tracking me 360 degrees uh, it, it, it goes wherever i go so i think i think it's pretty good So I think it comes very handy for uh, player movements uh, and things that are hard to keep track of. But it, it's nice to record your game and be able to track all your movements and then learn from it. Um, I think it's a pretty neat future. So I think I hope this uh, helps everybody that are trying to track objects on videos. And of course. The manual way of doing it is better than the deep tracking, but it takes much more time. So this can save you a lot of time. Please give a like and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you so much.